Say hello if you're there. Let me know if you can hear me. Hello. Just give me a thumbs up just to make sure that the sound is working okay. Hi, Pamela. Can you hear me? Sound is good. Thanks, Gina. I can't believe how bright it is outside. I nearly forgot what time it was. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Amanda. Okay, hello everybody, uh, welcome back. So this evening we're going to do a total body workout. So make sure that you have, um, make sure that you have lots of space because we're going to be using the whole mat in the area around it as well. And if you need to drop down to the knees at any time, all of these poses can be done from the knees as well. So just make sure that you listen to your body. Okay, so we're going to start in a cross-legged position. So come down to your mats. You can sit cross-legged, just sit with your legs out in front and turn your palms down and press your thumb and your index finger together. Roll your shoulders back and down away from the ears, press the crown of the head up towards the ceiling and keeping your chin parallel with the floor. So just take a few moments to tune in with the breath. Inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Spine is nice and long. Just allow yourself to arrive at the practice. Deep breaths. Maybe it's the first time you've noticed your breath all day. So allow yourself to ground down through the sit bones, rise up through the crown of the head. Take one more deep breath in and exhale, gently open up the elbows. Okay, so coming flat onto the back, placing your feet onto the mat and slowly rolling yourself down. Just take a moment to hug your knees into your chest and gently rock side to side. So massaging out the lower back, really pressing the tailbone and the lower back into the mat. And then place both feet onto the mat, make sure they're hip width distance apart and walk your heels in towards your bum. Now look down to the sides to make sure that the outer part of your foot, the ankle is in line with the baby toe. Inhale, lift your hips up, press the back of the head into the mat and the shoulders so that your neck is nice and long and your chin is lifted off your chest. And then bring in your arms back. Inhale, reach your fingertips back and then exhale, lower your hips and lower your hands. We're just gonna warm up the spine. Inhale, lift up and back. Reach your fingertips back and then exhale, slowly lower upper back, mid back, lower back and the hands come down by the side. Now if you can at this stage, walk your feet in closer towards your bum, do that now. And continue, inhale, lift up and back. Pause when you're at your edge, when you lift up as high as you can and then exhale, slowly release. So make sure that you're engaged in your core to support your lower back. And again, inhale, wave up. Exhale, lower all the way back down. Do three more. Inhale, lift up. Pause and then exhale, lower all the way back down. 
Last one, inhale, lift up. This time we're going to hold. Now if you want to go a little bit further, you can come up onto the toes. Or you can stay flat on the feet. Just lift those hips up really high. Keep your chin lifted off your chest. We're going to hold for five. Now make sure the backs of the hands are really pressing into the floor. Four. Squeeze up. Three. Two. One. Exhale. Release your hands. And upper back. Mid back. Lower back. All the way down. Hug your knees in towards your chest. Gently rock side to side. So the back should feel nice and warm in the spine. Your glutes should be switched on. And then grab the backs of the legs now. If you can't rock and roll, just roll to the side and come up. If you can, rock up. Try not to touch your toes off the mat. Inhale up. So inhale back. Exhale up. Pause. Inhale back. Exhale up. Last one. Inhale back. Exhale up. And cross your ankles. Come through into your tabletop position. Spread your fingers wide. Shoulders over wrists. Knees underneath the hips. And we'll start with cat cows. Inhale, drop your belly, look forward. Exhale, round your back, chin to chest. And again, inhale, drop your belly, look forward. Exhale, round your back, chin to chest. Keep moving. Inhale, drop your belly, look forward. Exhale, round your back, chin to chest. Last time, inhale, drop your belly, look forward. Exhale, round your back, chin to chest. Now keep your hips over your knees, walking your hands out to puppy pose. For a deeper stretch, drop your chin and more of a relaxed stretch, drop your forehead. Now, if this is as much of a challenge, you can stay like this or you can go with your baby fingers on the floor, thumbs pressing up towards the ceiling and really try and press your armpits down towards the floor. Breathe. Keep the tops of the feet pressing into the mat. Keep your hips over your knees. Breathe three more deep breaths. And then slide your hands back underneath your shoulders. Come into your tabletop position. Now, like I said, you can stay in tabletop if you wish. Curl your toes under and slowly lift your hips up towards the ceiling for downward facing dog. Now straighten your right leg, bend your left knee and hold. Spread those fingers, head in between the arms and press your chest back towards the tops of the thighs. And then swap. Straighten your left leg, bend your right. Breathe. Keep those fingers spread. Press your chest back. Now pedal the legs, pressing one heel down and then the other. Breathe deep. Deep belly breaths, in and out through the nose. And then inhale, come up onto the toes and exhale, press back down. And again, inhale, come up onto the toes. Exhale down. Two more. Inhale, come up onto the toes. Exhale down. Last time, inhale up on the toes. Exhale down. Planting your left foot onto the mat. Inhale, right leg up. Lift from your inner thigh and then bend your right leg. Send your right heel over to the left bum tree. Looking underneath your right armpit. Keep those fingers spread, breathe, drop that right heel as far over to the left as you can and then inhale bring it back to centre, reach your heel up and then exhale bring your knee in, into your chest. Looking forward, shoulders over wrists, hold, breathe. Try and squeeze your heel towards your bum. And then inhale, lift your right leg straight back up, three-legged dog, and exhale, release. Place your right foot into the mat. Inhale, left leg up. Press the heel up towards the ceiling. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, send your left heel over towards your right bum cheek. Looking underneath your left armpit. Now keep those fingers really spread. Keep lifting that left knee up towards the ceiling, dropping the left heel over towards the right. Don't lock out those elbows. Keep a slight bend in the elbows. Keep breathing. Take one more deep breath in. And exhale. Square off the hips. And bring your knee in towards your chest. Now hug that knee up and in. Breathe. Keep those fingers spread. Shoulders over wrists. Hold for five. Squeeze your knee in towards your chest. Heel towards your bum. Four. Three. Two. 
one, inhale, lift, left knee up, straighten out your leg, and then release, foot to the floor, knees to the floor, open them out really wide, big toes to touch, sit back on your heels, walk on your hands out in front, and bring your forehead to the mat. Deep breaths, child's pose, let the lower back lengthen, keep breathing deep, And then inhale, come back up. So come back up to your tabletop position. Shoulders over wrists. Curl your toes under. Nice flat back. So tuck that tailbone under. Inhale, hover the knees and hold for five. Breathe. Send the crown of the head forward. Tailbone back. Three, two, one. Inhale, press all the way up to your downward facing dog. Hold your downward facing dog. Dog, draw that lower rib cage in, engage your core. So draw that belly button back and up. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Lift from the inner thigh. Keep that right heel pressing up towards the ceiling. And exhale, knee to nose. Squeeze it in. Take a deep breath in and exhale, step your right leg forward. So right toes forward, lower your left knee. Right knee over right ankle. Press down into your foundation. Inhale, come up. Reach your fingertips up towards the ceiling. Draw your thumbs back. Look up if it's comfortable on your neck. neck. If not, just look out in front. Now draw that right hip crease back. And then exhale. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Lift your heart. Open your throat. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Release your hands. Plant your palms. Step back into plank. Our half plank, you can just drop your knees to the floor. Make sure that your shoulders are over your wrists. Squeeze your inner thighs together and hold for five. Four, three, two, one. Exhale, drop to your knees. Draw your elbows back, drop your chest and your chin to the floor. Come all the way down. Reach your legs back. Press all 10 toes into the mat. Draw your fingertips back so that they're in line with your chest. Elbows in towards your ribcage. Inhale, baby cobra. Just hold here. Make sure you're sliding your shoulder blades down the back. Now press your hips into the mat. Go for five. If you want to go a little bit further, hover your hands. Four. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Three, two, one. And exhale, release. Curl your toes under. Press yourself back to tabletop or downward facing dog. Keep those fingers spread. Keep pressing down between the thumb and the index finger. Deep breaths. Inhale, left leg up. Reach that heel up towards the ceiling. Keep your hips level. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, draw your knee to your nose. Breathe. Squeeze it in. And then exhale, step your left leg forward. Left knee over left ankle. Drop your right knee. Keep your right toes curled under. Press down into your foundation. Inhale, come up. Draw that left hip crease back. Reach your fingertips up towards the ceiling, thumbs back. If you want, take a back bend. Stretching through the back, but make sure your core is engaged. Let those hips drop down and forward. And then exhale, bring your elbows in line with your shoulders. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Take one more deep breath in. And exhale, slowly release your hands. Plant your palms, step back into plank. Make sure that your shoulders are over your wrists. Press your heels back, crown of the head forward. Draw that belly button in and up as you hold for five. Four, three, two, one. Exhale, lower to your knees. Chest and chin to the floor. Come all the way down. Lengthen out your legs. Draw your fingertips back in line with your chest. Squeeze your elbows in towards your ribcage. Inhale, baby cobra, look up. Exhale, fold. Breathe deep, inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, press up as high as you can and hold for five. Now squeeze those elbows in and down. Draw them back, four. Open your chest out towards your shoulders. Three, two, one. Exhale, fold. Curl your toes under, press back. Downward facing dog and hold. Hold your downward facing dog for five deep breaths. Keep your fingers really spread. Head between the arms, looking in towards your shins. Inhale, 
Inhale, come up onto your toes and exhale, press your heels down. Again, inhale, come up onto your toes. Exhale, press your heels down. Last time, inhale, come up onto your toes. Exhale, press your heels down. Bend your knees, inhale, look forward. Exhale, step to the front of your mat. Feet together, inhale, halfway lift. Hands on your shins, look forward. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, inhale, rise all the way up. Hands up, look up, and exhale, hands down to center, and relax your hands down by your side. So just take a moment to catch your breath. Okay, so we'll keep the feet hip distance apart. Two fists, outer part of your ankle in line with your baby toe. Press down into your feet and rise up tall. So lifting everything in the front of the body up, the crown of the head, and relaxing down through the back body. Hands facing inward, thumbs facing forward, and breathe. Deep breaths in and out through the nose, and if you're familiar with your Ujjayi breath, use that. The audible sound, restriction of the back of the throat. Inhale, bringing your hands to your heart center. Exhale. Inhale, chair. Reach those fingertips out, don't stick out the bum, tuck your tail going under, draw your thumbs back, look forward, go for five, three, four, three, two, one, and exhale, release, bring your belly down, top of your thighs, look towards your shins, hold your forward fold, press the crown of the head down towards the floor, lean in towards your legs. Inhale, come up halfway, hands on your shins, look forward. And exhale, fold. Bend your knees, big step back with your right leg. Lower your right knee, top of your right foot, left knee over left ankle. So keep your back toes under. Inhale, come up. Again, lift up. Keep your lower rib cage down. And then exhale, reach your right arm forward and bring your right elbow on the outside of your left knee and bring your left hand on top of your right. Stack your elbows. Twist from above your waist. Squeeze those inner thighs together, elbows are stacked. Now option to stay with the knee on the floor or inhale, bring your knee up off the mat. Push that right heel back. We're going to hold for 10. Really twisting into the torso, squeezing your shoulder blades together. Pull that left hip back. Eight, seven, six, five, keep breathing. Four, three, two, one. Exhale, release. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, fold. Plant your palms. Big step back into your plank. Remember, listen to your body. Drop to the knees whenever you need to take a break. Five. Flat back. Squeeze those inner thighs together. Four. Three. Two. One. Exhale, drop to your knees. Chest and chin to the floor. Lower yourself all the way down. Lengthen out your legs. Hands underneath the shoulders. Elbows squeezing in tight. Inhale, press up. Exhale, look back to the left corner of your mat. Inhale, look forward. Exhale to the right. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, left. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, right. Last time, inhale, look forward. Exhale, left. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, right. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold. Curl your toes under, press back. Downward facing dog or tabletop and hold. Breathe. Draw your belly button in and up. Keep those fingers really spread, head in between the arms. Bend your knees and really lift your hips up towards the ceiling. Slight bend in the elbows. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, step it through to the front. Lower your left knee, keep your toes curled under. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, reach your left arm forward and then hook your left elbow on the outside of your right knee. Stack your elbows, press your hands firmly together. Twist from above the waist. Prayer twist to the right. So you can either stay with your knee on the mat or inhale, lift your knee up and press your heel back. We're going to hold for 10. If you're at your edge, stay there and breathe. If you need to go further or if you can go further, go on your exhale, twist. Eight, seven, press the crown of the head forward, tailbone back, six, five, four, keep 
keep breathing. Three, two, one. Exhale, release. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, release the palms. Inhale, lift your back knee. Exhale, step left foot forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, inhale, chair. Hold for five. Make sure those knees aren't locking in. Press down into your feet and pull them apart. Tuck that tailbone under. Four. Sink a little bit deeper. Three, two, one. Then inhale, reach all the way up. And exhale, release your hands down by your side and catch your breath. Deep breaths in and out through your nose. Okay, so again, keeping the feet hip distance apart. Press down into your foundation and rise up tall. Rolling your shoulders up to your ears and squeezing your shoulder blades down the back. Reach, extend your fingertips down towards the floor. Catch your breath, bring that heart rate back down. Inhale, bringing your hands to your heart center. Exhale. Inhale, step straight back with your right leg. Bend into the front knee, hands onto your hips and draw your hips forward. So you can stay in a high lunge or a low lunge, your choice. If you're in a high lunge, inhale, reach your hands up. Option, exhale to drop the knee. Inhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. For five, inhale down, exhale up. Four, three, two, one, and exhale, release. Drop your back knee, come into warrior two. Roll your shoulders back and down, look out over your left middle finger. Open your chest to the long edge of the mat. Squeeze those inner thighs together. Breathe. Take one more deep breath in. And exhale, cartwheel your hands forward. Come into a low lunge. Inhale in, exhale, step right leg forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands down to center. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, step your left leg back. Separate your feet so that you're not on a tight rope and you're giving yourself some width to create more balance. Now right knee over right ankle, bend your left knee so you can create a nice flat back and then inhale hands up. So option to keep the knee dropped, keep the knee lifted or you can follow me. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Five. Squeeze those inner thighs together. Four. Three. Two. One. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, release your back heel down, come into your warrior two on the right. Reach those right fingertips forward, left fingertips back. Roll your shoulders back and down, keep your tailbone tucked under. Don't lock out the back knee, keep a softness in the back knee, but try and rotate your inner thigh up towards the ceiling. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Take one more deep breath in, and exhale, cartwheel your hands forward. Low lunge, inhale in. Exhale, step your left leg forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, inhale, rise up. And exhale, hands down to your center. And relax your hands down by your side. Separate your feet. Turn your toes out. Inhale, reaching your hands up. Exhale, come down, low squat. Inhale, reaching your hands up. Exhale down, try and press your elbows into your knees to open them out towards your big toes. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, come down. Two more, inhale, reach up. Exhale down. Last time, inhale, reach up. Exhale, this time, stay down. Press your elbows into your knees. It doesn't matter if you're on your toes and your hands are on the floor, just try and get your bones down as low to the floor as possible. Move side to side for five. Four, three, two, one, and exhale, release one hand behind, then the other. Turn your hands out in whatever position that's most comfortable. Bring your feet as wide as the mat. Keep your chest lifted, inhale in. Exhale, drop your knees to the left and turn your chest to the right. 
Now if you want to go a little bit further, hook your left ankle over your right knee and try and press that left knee down towards the floor. Keep twisting your upper body towards the left, right. Keep pushing your knees down towards the left. And then exhale, release, come back to centre. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, drop your knees to the right and turn your chest to the left. Keep lifting, pressing through the hands. If you want to go a little bit further, hook that right knee over the left and press your right knee down. Breathe. Knees to the right, look towards the left. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Take one more deep breath in and exhale, release, come back to centre. Cross your ankles, come through into your tabletop position. From tabletop then, slide your right knee behind your right wrist. Grab your right foot and bring your right foot forward. Then walk your left leg back. Per pigeon. Now if you have any knee or hip injuries, you can come into lazy pigeon, just roll over to the right side and bring yourself down onto your hands. If not, bring yourself front and centre so your shin is in front and your left leg is back. Now press firmly into those toenails, inhale, look up, and then exhale, reach forward with the hands. If you can, bring your forehead to the mat. If not, make two fists and rest your forehead on fists. Deep breaths. Lowering yourself all the way down to the floor. Making your spine nice and long by pressing the crown of the head forward. Squeezing your inner thighs together to keep your hips level. Breathe deep into any discomfort, any tightness or tension. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, walk on your hands back. Inhale, lift your chest up, and then exhale, roll on to the right hip. Bring, slide your left leg forward, and step your left foot on the outside of your right thigh. Now, if that's too uncomfortable, you can just straighten out that right leg, and twist. If not, keep the right heel where it is, and twist. So bring your right elbow on the outside of your left knee, bring your left hand behind your back. Inhale, straighten your back. Exhale, twist up over your left shoulder. Inhale, straighten your back. Exhale, twist. Two more, inhale, straighten. Exhale, twist. Last time, inhale, straighten. Exhale, twist. Now slide that left leg back. Inhale, look up. And exhale, release your right leg back. Stretch it out. And come back into your tabletop position again. So slide left knee behind left wrist. Reach back and bring your left shin and foot forward. Walk that right leg back. So again, lazy pigeon is an option. If you have a hip or knee injury, come down to the left side. If not, come up front and centre. High on your fingertips. Inhale, look up. Exhale, walk your hands forward and come all the way down. Now support your forehead if it doesn't come all the way down to the mat. And just hold for a couple of breaths. Breathing into any tightness or tension. Let those hips relax down. Squeezing those inner thighs together if you're feeling your lean into one side more so than the other. And then inhale, look forward. Exhale, walk on your hands back. Inhale, look up. And exhale, roll onto that left hip. Keep the shin and foot where it is. And slide your right leg forward. Step your right foot over to the left thigh. Inhale, reach your left arm up and exhale, bring your left elbow to the outside of your right knee, right hand behind the back. Now, if that's too uncomfortable, just stick that left leg out straight and twist to the right. Breathe. Press the crown of the head up. 
keep that right bum cheek pressing into the mat. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Do two more. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Last time, inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Inhale, look forward and exhale, unravel. Shoot that right leg back. Come back into your pigeon. And then slide your left leg back. Stretch it out. Shift forwards and backwards. And then come into a comfortable seat. Cross-legged. Sitting up nice and tall. And again, if that's too uncomfortable, just shoot your legs out long. Bring your thumb and your index finger together, palms facing down. Roll your shoulders back down away from the ears. Closing down the eyelids. Bringing our practice together to a close. And just noticing how the body feels. Notice how everything can change in a very short amount of time. Observe the breath as it enters and leaves the body. And then start to slowly deepen your breath once again. Start to bring some movement into your fingers and your toes. And gently rotate your wrists. And inhale, bringing your hands out to the side and up. And exhale, bringing your hands down to the centre, pressing your thumbs into your sternum and bow your head to your hands. And we give thanks to ourselves, bodies and each other for taking part in this practice. Bringing your thumbs up to your third eye, taking a deep breath in. Exhale, release. Namaste. So thank you all for joining me this evening for this practice or whenever you decide to do the practice. Um, I am thinking of doing hour-long sessions on Zoom because a lot of people aren't on Facebook. So if you'd be interested in that, do pop a comment down below and just let me know. Um, they won't be every evening, but we'll pick a time and we'll do them um, as much as the demand is there. So let me know, uh, something that I'm working on and this time has certainly been a learning curve for me with technology and the infinite amount of possibilities. So thank you for all your support and your lovely comments. They really do mean the world to me and I look forward to doing videos with you most evenings during the week. So go enjoy the rest of your evening and I'll see you tomorrow weekend. Thank you very much.